Hey, hello, it's DT again with yet another video. Now this one is special. This one doubles as a food and a cultural video. But first, do you like crab? In Japan, crab is called kani. Now, how do you like your crab? Grilled, boiled, baked? I think they do just about every kind here at this place. I know I can tear me up some crabs. Well good, we're on the same page then. So check out this place in Yokosuka called Kota Honten. Now I don't believe this is a chain, but there are several other crab restaurants in Japan that I have not yet covered. And a major hub for crab is way up north in Hokkaido. It seems like there's a crab restaurant on just about every corner. But I digress. Let's check this place out. And like I said before, this place is in Yokosuka City, Kanagawa Ken, at the address below. Now this particular restaurant is very Japanese and you won't want to miss it. And with that, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video or the small right square to the right of this video. This will make it easier for you to stay up to date with my content and make it way easier for you to find my channel in the future. So my reason for coming here initially wasn't to make a video. It's due to a Japanese tradition in which Hold on, hold on, man, I got this. Hold on, man, I got this. Hey, up here, there you go. Hey, what's up? Listen to me. Hold on, let me tell you something. Hold on, but hold on, let me tell you something. Listen, I'm always asleep when he's making these videos for you guys. I'm usually quiet and I don't make a peep, but the day is First all off, well you about me. <laughs> you see, in Japan, we have a tradition called Okuizome, or first meal. That celebrates healthy eating, nutritional fundamentals for children, we usually do this when a child reaches his or her 100 days of life, which I have. Now my sisters already did this. Now it's my turn, you see. Also, for 100 days, we get our pictures taken with the footprints, the whole nine. Can you believe they dressed me up as Momo Tano? Show them the pics, Pop. Roll up pics. You see, Momo means peach, and Tano is a boy's name. This is a Japanese folklore. I look good, right? <laughs> well, like I was saying, this is a Japanese folklore in which an old lady finds a peach floating in the river, takes it home to her husband to eat, cuts it open, and BAM! Out pops a baby. Just like me! They name him Momotaro, and he goes on to do great things like beating the crap out of demons, cause who likes those, right? He's basically a tough guy, just like me. Alright, son, I'll take it from here. Okay, Pops, you got it. I'll be quiet now. Whew! Okay, so you got the cultural summary from my son. <laughs> but have you actually seen one of these ceremonies go down? Well, you will today, straight from the family vault. I want you to see how this is performed and also check out how we smash on these crabs. Though it may seem random, I am actually taking directions from the staff as to how to perform the ceremony correctly. I am repeatedly touching the stone, the fish, and the rice, and simulating feeding him and at one point actually feeding him his first grain of rice. Hashi or chopstick skills are definitely required. Let's check out the menu. Now this place can get expensive, but that's relative. Everything is super fresh, absolutely delicious, and they have a whole set platter combinations totally separate from Okuizome. 
So this place isn't just for this ceremony, but it is a great place for it. And Mama T already called ahead and arranged for it, which means we get this private room. You'll have to take your shoes off if you go into one of these, but don't worry. Because if you're eating here during the cold season, which is a great time to eat crabs, you can turn on your foot heaters underneath the table. There's a button all the way to the right you can turn on and your feet will be nice and toasty, just like your bellies will be. Also, keep in mind that the prices you see here are per person. That's not to say that you can't share what you get, but the prices that you see for the sets are per person. Don't feel like spending an arm and a leg. You can just buy individual items so that you don't have to buy a whole set. As I said before, this place is very Japanese. Notice how I'm flipping the pages. I'm reading from right to left as opposed to other restaurants you might read from left to right. You might also notice that as I'm flipping the pages from right to left that the set menus are getting more and more expensive. And they're also getting prettier. Don't forget, it's all about the experience. Don't let this deter you from having a good time. It's nice that they also provide a picture so you can just point to what you want. Now these crabs used to freak me out, but I've grown to accept them and grown to love tearing the crap out of them. Now this fish is a Thai fish used for the ceremony. It's seasoned and very salty, or as the Japanese say, shio pai, meaning salty. But my daughter cannot get enough of it. Careful though with the tiny bones. And if you know another name for this ugly but delicious fish, comment below. Thank you. 
And there you have it. And there you have it. You learned about a Japanese tradition called Okui Zome and a cool crab restaurant right here in Yokosuka, my hometown. And you learned about a piece of Japanese folklore. The story of me, uh uh, I mean Momotaro. And you learned how to say salty in Japanese, shio pai. So do my old man a favor, hit the subscribe button and he'll, no, we'll see you on the next one. Little T out.